Alright guys, good hot afternoon. YouTube people, world, everywhere, wherever. Um, yeah, I had to stop filming. It was just, or, I couldn't film, I should say. I couldn't film, it was just too hot out here. It still is too hot out here. It's about 5 o'clock right now. In the evening, and yeah, it's pretty hot. So what I've got, got done so far is um, I basically removed all the old wire loom junk and old electric electrical tape off of the wire harness and uh, trying to figure out what wires are what. So this wire here, I'm assuming goes to the windshield washer tank which I think I'm going to put here but I don't know yet um, because I have the reservoir man it's just getting hotter hotter over here I have the uh, overflow tank here um, it's pretty big pretty big tank um, but it'll fit here too this obviously is old and broken so I'm just trying to see where and what I can mock where mock up um, the radiator's hot and whatever so if you see I got the AC dryer I believe this is the AC dryer hooked up I had to do some soldering and wiring for wires that were loose or cut. I have the wire all loomed. I have that wire loomed. The wire back there loomed. Um, I have to go buy some uh, smaller uh, wire loom for the for all these little wires. Um, ended up removing the hood harness, the the hood light, and then uh, just stuff like this that I don't really know what this is for, unless this is for the windshield washer, no. Nope, not for the windshield washer, but I don't know what this wire is for because... It's just a hot wire, if that makes sense. Uh, wire, the orange wire goes into the power, and then the uh, the black wire is just grounded. So it's just it's just a hot wire harness. So which means that it would just be on all the time. So I don't really know what it's for. What would what it would be needed for? That uh, would kind of be on all the time. It would just be more of a drain. Um, I did put new O-rings in the dryer. Uh, there's new O-ring in here, new O-ring in there, and I got the new O-ring on the firewall piece. Um, so that way the AC will all be sealed. Um, I'm trying to, trying to remember what this is for. I kind of want to say this is for, um, I think that's what it's for. So it's for a uh, retractable light. That's what it's for. So the Chevy, the 91 Chevy had this little light and you can disconnect it and it was a mobile light. So that's what that's for. Don't need it, so I'll be deleting that now that I remember what it's for. I'm going to confirm. I'll go check the uh, the other inner fender well for that truck to confirm. But I got, uh, yeah, I got to get all the wire harness. All the, I got to get more wire loom. Um, this will get a bigger wire loom. And I'll have to take this wire and extend it 
Um, I'd like to see if I can't get maybe a smaller windshield washer reservoir, something smaller, like, you know, maybe like, I don't know, just something smaller, and to see if I can't get, man, it's hot out here, uh, a different overflow tank. That overflow tank's pretty big. Um, I don't know how big it is, but it looks to be roughly a gallon maybe three quarters of a gallon and uh, yeah and it's it's kinda weird cuz it says that that's its cold level so what does the rest of the tank do I don't know I don't really see a hot hot level so I'm assuming that if it backflows it's supposed to backflow that much um, and I think it is a gallon, because the number one right there, I'm assuming that's, it's hot guys, it's hot, I'm burning up already, oh. um, and then I ended up cutting some, uh, I ended up cutting the oil cooler lines that were ran up into this area of the truck, and ran ran those lines to this oil cooler right here. This is a a Dodge whatever 90s, a 1989 1990s Dodge Trans cooler and uh ended up running it right there in the front. So when you get into a wreck, it wrecks it. So before I had it when I was just mocking it up I had that tranny cooler thing here, oil cooler. I had it there, and now I got it mounted on the bottom. So it looks a lot cleaner. And then uh, this way I can get a an AC condenser and uh, put that AC condenser inside here. I have an AC condenser from the 91 and uh, I might go out and grab it and try it um, that, and that's one of the reasons why I didn't paint or coat the front of this because I might have to drill holes for the lines see one of the lines is right here so I have I don't know yet and that's why I haven't attached this yet also because my buddy's gonna weld that bung fading on there but it's looking a lot cleaner uh, a lot less wire cluster um, this wire this wiring is gonna have to go in the cab that's for the uh, windshield wiper and like I said the one it's gonna have to come out for cruise control and I did mount the cruise control unit right there so it's getting progress, but it is hot. It's hot out here. Um, I did find out that that line that went from there to the heater core, it is broken. The fitting is broken inside there. So I'll have to take an easy out or something and remove it. And I think I have this. This thing looks like it's seen better, better days. Um, I probably have something different in here that I could use. Uh, so if not, I'll go to the AutoZone. I got a gift card from AutoZone for something, and uh, I'll purchase something from them or from over there. But it has to be three quarter inch. Basically has to be this size. This is the three-quarter inch three-quarter inch and the other hose is five-eighths, so And it looks like that might be five-eighths also So all right guys, I'm gonna cut this video. It is too hot out here. I'm already burning up So yeah, it looks like that's five-eighths too uh, so I'm gonna check out, I'm gonna go back in the house, 
I didn't clean any of the tools up, um, mainly because I was using them. But the flies buzzing around. All right, uh, yeah, that's gonna be it for this video. I gotta bring the camera back in the house, and uh, it's already getting hot. I can feel it getting warm. So, all right, guys, thanks for watching. Subscribe, comment, and uh, I think tomorrow morning, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna tear the front wheels, the tear the front end off, and start installing steering components on the thing. And uh, once I do that. Uh, there's a wire wire harness under there, and I'm going to go get some wire loom. And, uh, yeah, I'm going to do wire tucking. Try to I'm going to try to hide as much of the wiring as I can so it doesn't look all crazy. So I'm going to try to run this wiring, you know, up against there to try to hide it as best as I can. So... Anyway, subscribe, comment, do what you guys do. Thank you guys for subscribing. And uh, keep on watching. Check out older videos. It's Project Crack Pipe. And uh, I have a playlist of a bunch of stuff. Alright guys, thanks for watching. Later.